round five is completed now. It's it's been interesting so far this season. It's probably not as bad as last year where you had your outright winners like Penrith, but games were just the teams that should be winning were losing, and vice versa. The teams that should be losing were winning. Um, there was a little bit that little bit of that in the first few rounds but i think things are starting to settle uh settle a bit um for instance tigers they're settling down using the wooden spoon so far uh which is each to their own uh they'll eventually get a win at some point who knows i what i accidentally did on my tipping like the actual tipping app uh i didn't Put my tips I did my tips here um, but I did not put my tips on the app so unfortunately I got the eels game it was like I think two minutes into the game I'm like oh no I didn't actually put my tips in um, so I got it gave me eels but um, let's let's have that quick overview of of the round and speak about my tips um, so round six, Sharks had the bye, um, and then let's let's have a quick look. See, so I did get six out of eight. Uh, unfortunately, it won't say six on the app. It will say five because I was stupid. Um, and as you see, my season so far, twenty-four out of forty. I don't know how people get nearly a hundred percent out of each round. Um, it's bizarre to me, but it is what it is. Uh, the ladder, ladder looking nice and juicy for us Bronco fans, um, and hopefully we make it six six and zero, oh, just like how the West Tigers will make it probably zero oh and five. Uh, zero oh and six. No, they're zero oh and five now. Oh, that's that's even worse. Crikey. Uh, but yeah, Broncos, Warriors, Roosters, Seagulls, Panthers, Storm, Dolphins, Bulldogs are your top eight. Uh, so some surprising ones there. Obviously, Dolphins, I guess no one expected them to have uh, the three wins straight off the, off the bat. Uh, Bulldogs, I personally think, should have at least one more win just based off their team. Uh, Panthers only having two wins and two losses is crazy, but because they did have the buy round, they've got the two points. Um, and what is crazy is that the fact that Manly is such a better team than the Knights and they drew 32 all. How does the Knights become better and they don't have Kalen Ponga? How does that happen? Um, like they finally wanted to play football. They're like, oh, we'll do this for Ponga. We've got him. So that's interesting. Um, Storm, they didn't have Munster there for a bit, so that's kind of mainly where their losses were at. Um, Roosters, I probably, probably should be four wins from four games. Um, obviously eight points with the bye as well. Um, as you can see, the what's that one? The fifth row, uh, the fifth column. That's where the buyers are. So dragons, titans, panthers, sea eagles, roosters have all had a buy, so they automatically get two points. And the sharks will have a buy this this week, um, and then hopefully don't don't lose the way they did, like they did to the Warriors. They were up, they were looking good, and then Warriors came back. Credit to the Warriors. I am a big fan of the Warriors, and I've said this in previous videos. I've been a big fan of the Warriors for a while. They're generally my first team that is picked to win over my own team, the Broncos. Um, but the past two seasons, the season last season, I've been kind of like, I, I can't trust them anymore, but... That trust is very, very quickly coming back to them. They're playing great footy. They've got a great team. Love Sean Johnson. He is an excellent football player. Uh, definitely one of those players that deserves a premiership. Um, so, yeah. Uh, some surprise down the 
bottom, what's that, nine. Uh, sharks, rabbits, and eels being down, down so low. And I guess you could say the cowboys as well. Uh, they they definitely should have one more win at least. Sharks obviously choking. Rabbits. I guess you could argue that they should have won. One, definitely one more of their games. And I actually wish Eels kept their losing streak. Um, them being 0 and 5 as well, that would have been great. Um, but yeah, that's that's the ladder after five rounds. And these are the games for the week. We've got Storm Roosters starting off the weekend, or well, Thursday night. Uh, I'm pretty sure, yeah, the Thursday night, the the start of the Easter round. How interesting this will be. And then we've got Doggies Rabbits, the, the fr first Friday game. Cowboys Dolphins. Um, another Queensland versus Queensland team. That's back to back kind of weeks. Uh, then we've got who do we have here? We've got Panthers Manly. I'm look, I was looking straight at the, the Panther. I almost called it a Cougar. I don't know why. Straight at the Panther and I couldn't figure out what it was. Uh, this should be this should be a good game. Like, crikey if it's not. Um, probably not my game of the round. Storm Roosters will probably be my game of the round. Um, and then we've got Broncos Raiders. Poor Raiders. You you might be sacking your coach by the end of the year or halfway through the season. We'll see what happens there. Titans Dragons. When we get to this, I've kind of gone an interesting pick here. Uh, Knights Warriors. And then to finish the round, we've got Tigers Eels. So we've kind of got we've kind of got a mixed bag here. I mean, we've got some top teams versus some top teams. And then a bottom team versus a top team, and then a bottom team versus a bottom team. This will be very interesting to see what happens uh, during this round. Alright, as I said, Storm v Roosters. Um, you can see their last five games. Uh, win, loss, loss, win, win for the Storm. Um, again, that was that Munster period where he was out uh, and injured. And then Roosters are uh, loss, win, win. The buy and the win. Um, obviously, their records. They're three wins, two losses. Now I kind of I've been screwing up this last this last little column where the zero is. It should actually be the if it was a draw or not. Um, and somehow we had a draw in a game that has golden point. Like, how does someone not at least get a penalty? goal like come on um because this is at melbourne storm home ground i will be going storm um roosters don't have teddy i'm not a big fan of teddy i do think he's overrated and unfortunately for him he's gonna end his own career i don't think the incident on the weekend was his fault necessarily um, but he does have a habit of when he gets tackled, he kind of, it's like, if you watch AFL, AFL players used to play for the, the high tackle and get an easy free kick just by like dropping into it. And they've kind of weeded that out of the game. But this, we talk about defenders needing to protect the attackers head. But it also needs to be onus on the attacker, attacking player, to protect themselves. You'll see a lot of the time, like, accidents do happen. And unfortunately, the, the tackler pays the price for an accident. So, yeah. I, I do think the attackers need to be held more accountable. Um, saying that. Roosters still have a good team, but I think Storm at home is pretty pretty hard to beat. So, yeah, we're going with that. Bulldogs, Rabbits. Ooh, this will be interesting. I did go Rabbitohs. I almost wanted to go Bulldogs. But I believe Rabbits 
will bounce back after after losing. Um, it's kind of an interesting game because they're both kind of around that same area on the ladder. Three wins for the Bulldogs, uh, two wins for the Rabbits. I, I do think Rabbits can bounce back. Um, on paper, they're a great team. Uh, so there's no reason for them to be... They're definitely not a premiership winning team, but they are a finals team. Um, so yeah, I'm going Rabbits. Cowboys Dolphins, as much as I want to pick Dolphins, I think it's still too hard with the injuries. Uh, Cowboys do get drink water back, so that makes it hard again for them to try and beat to beat a performing fullback. So um, I, it was kind of easy to pick Cowboys. Uh, Panther Seagulls, oh my lord, I don't know how Manly did what they did on the weekend, but here we are. Um, Panthers definitely not their high caliber team that they. That they were the past two seasons. They're back to back premiers. Um, but that's kinda I mean they flogged Raiders, but let's be honest, Raiders are may as well be a paddock paddy. If you kinda get what I'm saying there, or cow paddy. Yeah, let's go cow paddy. Um they're they're definitely they're definitely not as good as they have been. I mean, it is early in the season. They could definitely improve, but they've lost some big players in RP and uh, Kickout, which I've said um, in previous videos. So I think they're going to struggle. Broncos Raiders, how good is it to see win, 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 win? Five and zero. That's that's a that's a full hand. Um, and obviously, I'm going to go Broncos at at Suncorp. That place will be buzzing. Uh, be great atmosphere. Raiders hopefully lose, keep losing. Uh, Titans Dragons. This I said I'd talk about this. I am going for a curveball in this. Titans after a buy could be actually beneficial here. Now we saw who was it? The Eels. No, the Dragons. The Dragons, they had a buy first round. So Dragons had a buy first round, but they came second round and got a big win. Which is huge considering they're, you know, behind, so to speak, in match fitness. Um, so I'm, I'm going, throwing curveball, going Titans, home field advantage to the Titans. And I think this buy would be beneficial to them. So... I'm going them. Knights Warriors, you know I'm picking the Warriors. Now, funny enough, I'm pretty sure this is the first game. Like these guys played each other in round one. And now five rounds later they're reversing each other again. So I don't know how that draw kind of worked out the way it did. Um each each team should verse each other. They should have verse each other at least once. Before they verse teams twice, like I would understand if it's like been uh, how many teams are there? There's nine, seventeen teams. So I think even if it's after ten rounds, then start these double up games. But I'm going Warriors. I'm backing them. I'm backing them all the way to finals, and then they will lose. Uh, Tigers Eagles. This is the last last game of the round. Uh, my Tigers team with best friends with Owen versing. Holy crap! I've got that wrong. I've got that the wrong way. That should be one. Hold up. Let me fix this. All right, fix it. Um, unfortunately, I'm back in the Eels. As much as I would love if Tigers beat Eels, oh, that would make me so happy. I don't think it will happen, but I want it to happen. Um, I don't know what's what something's happening in my voice today. Things are going weird. And also, I probably shouldn't be recording. I recall these dead set. What is it? Almost 11 o'clock at night on a Wednesday. And I need to get this up before I go to bed. So, good planning by me. Um, but yeah, to round it off, I am going Eels. 
much as I don't want to, but that's another story for another time. That is it for round six. It's already, I can't believe it's been six weeks already of football. Soon it'll be state of origin time before we know it. Um, Queensland, what, they're, they're looking much better now. 100%. But that's the story for when we get to state of origin time. Um, Again, I'm 24 or 40 tips right so far, so I'm not too, what's the word, too upset about that tip, uh, the tipping so far. Um, the first two weeks is always hard, um, like Broncos beating Panthers um, is one of the games, for example, that probably shouldn't have gone that way it did. Um, that's all right. Um, well, that is it for the video. If you made it this far, nice. Thank you for staying. Um, let me know what your tips or how you're going with your tipping. Are you upset with your team at the moment? Um, so, yeah. Drop a comment down below. Let's have a chat. Um, until next week, I will see you later. Bye-bye.